Hey, I'm Matt from OnlineBusinessTech.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a tablet like this to record a digital whiteboard video. That way you can show what you're writing on the screen as you're presenting. So you can do this with either a video that you pre-record or this is great for live presentation if you're doing like an online conference as well. So this is perfect if you're one of the many teachers who are now teaching remotely online. If you want to have a digital whiteboard that you can draw on while your students are watching. So in order to do this, there's four things that you need. So the first thing you're gonna need is some sort of digital writing device. So that could be a writing tablet like this. So a drawing device. So it could be either, you know, something like this, or it could be an iPad. I personally am using the Microsoft Surface Pro that comes with, well, actually you, you have to purchase this separately. This works really well. Um, we're gonna go into kind of the devices in a little bit. The second thing you need is some sort of software to draw on. So you need drawing software. You can either use um, software that's included in your operating system, um, or there's some free programs that I'm gonna tell you about as well. The third thing you need is a screen capture software. So screen capture. So you need something that can record your screen while you're drawing on it. Once you've done that, you can take that file and use the fourth thing, which is your video editing software. So fourth thing is video editing software. And this is going to allow you to take that video and edit it so you're not, uh, so you can cut out the, the empty parts, you can speed up parts so people don't have to sit through the whole time that you're you know sitting there uh, drawing. Now, if you're doing this live, you're gonna be using whatever uh, online web conferencing software that you're comfortable with, and it should have a screen share feature that will allow you to share your screen. So we're gonna dive into each one of these in this video. So let's go ahead and talk about the first thing, which is the writing device. So if you already have a computer, you can get something like this. This is the Wacom Intuos Pen Small. I think this one in particular is discontinued, but there's several others out there. I'll have uh, links in the description uh, if you wanna check out some of these. But this is essentially a, a peripheral that you plug into your computer or laptop via USB. There's other ones that are wireless and it comes with this pen. Now this pen is special in that it works specifically with this tablet, but what it allows you to do is draw on this surface and it basically manipulates the mouse cursor on your computer. So it takes a little bit of getting used to because you have to look at the screen while you're writing. Um, but after a little bit of practice, it, it's not too hard. Now they also make drawing tablets like this that actually have screens on them. So you're looking at the screen as you're drawing. But if you're going to spend that kind of money on a, a drawing tablet, I would recommend getting something like the Microsoft Surface Pro. Um, this has a paired pen that works with it as well. And this thing's really awesome because it has a ton of levels of pressure sensitivity and angle sensitivity um, that really um, allow you to, to draw very detailed. You know, if you're an artist, you're gonna absolutely love this thing. But this is a lot easier to, uh, to work with compared to a drawing tablet like like this one because it actually has a screen that you're drawing on. And the other thing I really like about the Surface is you can get the keyboard. So it's basically a laptop. And when you don't wanna use the laptop, you can disconnect the keyboard and just use it as a tablet. Now, of course, the other popular option is an iPad with the Apple Pen. Um, so that works pretty good as well. But personally, I love the Microsoft Surface Pro. I love that it runs just native Windows. So basically any Windows program that you would run on your computer, you can run on this device as well. 
All right, the second thing you need is some sort of drawing software. Now you don't have to spend any money on drawing software. Like if you're using Windows, Paint 3D, which is kind of the modern replacement for old school paint, which I'm sure you're familiar with, um, actually works really well. And one of the things that's really cool about it is you can actually import 3D models either from their library or if you have your own 3D models, you can bring those in and, and orbit them around and then annotate them in 2D as well. Now, if 3D kind of overwhelms you, you can just use it as a very simple two-dimensional um, painting program. Now, if you're looking for something even more straightforward, I'd recommend checking out Microsoft Whiteboard. Now, this is actually built for this. This is uh, a program specifically made for uh, using as a digital whiteboard. It's a very simple tool set, but it works really well. I know that there's some mixed reviews on Microsoft Whiteboard, but personally, with the Microsoft Surface Pro, it works really well. I haven't had any issues with it. I don't know if maybe there's some issues with like different hardware or different types of uh, tablets, but I would definitely recommend at least checking it out. It's free to download. And one thing that's cool about Microsoft Whiteboard is you have the ability to actually share it with other people. So you can actually have multiple people collaborate on the same whiteboard. So imagine you're on a conference call or a web meeting and you're all signed into that same whiteboard and you can all annotate on it together. So that's a really cool feature about Microsoft Whiteboard. But if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced, the third program I'd recommend checking out is Autodesk Sketchbook. So Sketchbook is gonna give you um, a ton of great tools for drawing, painting, pens, markers, that sort of thing. But it also has some nice smoothing features and rulers and guides that'll allow you to draw either straight lines or nice curved lines. Um, but the other big important thing that Sketchbook has is the ability to create and manage layers. So with layers, you, you would have the ability to prepare things ahead of time on a layer and then hide it. And then during your presentation, if you're pre presenting live, you can turn on layers and instantly show either images or drawings that you've created ahead of time um, on the fly. So that's a really important tool to be able to use um, if you're doing live presentations. And also if you're doing uh, a recording like I am, I can prepare things ahead of time and then just turn those layers on uh, on the fly in the moment as I need them. All right, the third thing you need is screen capture software. So the idea is you wanna be able to record the screen. If you're creating a video of your whiteboard, you wanna be able to record the screen and then use your editing software to chop it up and edit it uh, to create your final video. So if you're on Windows, there's actually a built-in screen recording option that you can use um, in the game bar. So uh, Windows has a built-in Xbox game bar that allows you to record uh, gameplay, but you can also use it to just record regular programs as well. So you can access the game bar by just tapping Windows key G or go to the start menu by tapping the Windows key and then start typing in game bar and you'll see it pop up there. And then from there, you wanna find the record button. And when you click that, it's gonna start recording your entire screen. And you're gonna see a little status bar in the corner, but don't worry, that's not gonna actually be included in your recording. That's just there for you to be able to pause and stop uh, the recording, the active recording. So once you're done, that's gonna be saved in your videos slash captures folder, and then you can edit it from there. Now, I think Mac actually has a built-in uh, screen recording software as well called QuickTime. I'm not too familiar with that, but it's worth checking out as well. However, both of these are gonna be really limited as far as the features available to you. So for instance, they're only gonna capture the entire screen, although I think QuickTime might allow you to select an area, I'm not sure on that. Um, and with the Windows Game Bar recording feature, it doesn't allow you to switch programs. So it's only gonna record whichever program is active when you initiate the recording. So that can kind of be a pain as well. So what I recommend using is TechSmith Camtasia. So Camtasia is um, an amazing uh, screen capture program. I personally use it. I've been using it for probably five or six years now with my other YouTube channel where I do tutorials and stuff like that. 
Um, so Camtasia is going to provide the ability to not only record your screen, but also record webcam and audio um, as well uh, simultaneously. It also gives you more control over the size of the capture, so you can snap it to a certain window or a certain program, um, that sort of thing. So there's just a lot more features, but the biggest thing is it's also a complete video editing suite. So you can take your screen capture and then bring it into the Camtasia editing suite and completely edit and create your video using really simple tools. Um, it's just really easy to use. So I would definitely recommend that. But if you want to try uh, another free option, you can check out OBS, which is a free screen capture uh, program that you can use to capture your screen as well. All right, so what if you're doing a live presentation? Well, most uh, web conference software like Skype or Google Hangouts or Zoom, they all have a screen sharing feature. So when you're the presenter in the web conference, you can actually share a screen and all you would do is open up your drawing program and then use your drawing tablet or whatever, your pen, to draw on the screen as you're presenting. Now Zoom actually has its own built-in whiteboard feature, so it's it's built right into the program, so you can just switch over to whiteboard mode and use it. Um, the only thing is the features are pretty simple; they're they're not too complex. So um, definitely check it out if you're looking for something in a pinch. But I would recommend using these other workflows that I've mentioned um, to to create your whiteboard presentation. All right, and finally, I just wanna share a few tips with you while you're recording your whiteboard. So tip number one, keep in mind, you don't have to record your whiteboard while you're talking. So you can actually record yourself drawing ahead of time and then edit that down to a succinct video and then narrate over top of that. Or you can do the reverse. You could create your narration first, then as you're listening to it, uh, think of what you want to write or draw in order to illustrate and support what you've narrated. And don't forget that in your video editing software, you can actually speed up the clip so it plays back at a much faster speed. So this is gonna save time in your video so people aren't sitting around waiting for you to draw like one word. So um, that can be pretty frustrating. And my last tip, keep in mind you can always import images and use other things on your whiteboard. It doesn't always have to be something you drew. So, all right, I hope this video was helpful. I know I did a previous video like five years ago. I just wanted to do a new one to kind of update on the latest technology. And again, if you need links to all of the things that I mentioned in this video, there's links in the description below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I will be sure to get back to you. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.